Circuit training is a type of workout that requires cycling through moderate intensity exercises with only a little bit of a break in between sets. The circuit training style of working out is excellent for those who need a quick sweat in between the craziness of daily life. It's like the new generation's version of HIT or high intensity interval training. The idea of circuit training translates perfectly to a mini game type of like video game and that is what developers at Spike Chunsoft, hopefully I'm saying your guys' name right, saw when developing the fitness circuit game for the Nintendo Switch. Fitness Circuit is a stylish and fun game that I absolutely adore and caused me to be burning a whole lot of calories. For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube and watch Jack. As always, you can skip around in the chapters below. First, let's get into the game. Fitness Circuit is a 2022 video game for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, it came out quite a while ago, and yes, I am reviewing it a year, almost two years later. I am nothing but late to the party when it comes to my reviews. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm gonna be reviewing that, uh, um, that NES fitness game with that mat, you know, bringing it back. The game offers 45 different exercises, ranging from lunges to upright rows. There is even an exercise that has you beating up a car a la Street Fighter 2, hence why I'm wearing my Street Fighter shirt. All of these exercises come packaged with these amazing graphics that remind me of the TV show Code Lyoko with the whole virtualized world. Now that is a millennial classic. Go down. Go up. Good. Lower. Raise. Lower. First, when booting up the game, you will need to enter in your gender or sex, weight, and age. The game uses this data to calculate estimated calories burned during the workouts. I actually used my Apple Watch when calculating the calories in this game as well as all of the other games. And overall, what the video game said I burned and what the Apple Watch said I burned were very different. The Apple Watch had me burning way more calories than the video game did. Uh, just to keep that in mind that the calorie counter may or may not be accurate to what you truly did burn. Of course, the Apple Watch does have access to my heartbeat, which you know, it's probably a little bit more accurate. After entering in your information for calorie calculation, you will pick your personal trainer. The game comes with six of them, with three being guys and three of them being some gals. You can customize these trainers by coloring their hair, eyes, as well as changing to different outfits. All of these trainers have unique voices but not really any distinct personalities or really anything like that. It would help make the game more exciting if they embodied different personalities, more like the fitness boxing series. However, as is, it's okay. Once you have set everything up, you will start your fitness journey. The main focus of the game is the daily circuit. Each day, a new assortment of exercises will appear and you will rotate through the different exercises throughout one to three different rounds, depending of course on how many you choose. After each of the exercises, you will then be graded based on your performance. The grade will correspond to how many points you get filling up this level meter. As the meter fills up, you unlock new workouts, ranks, and stylish clothing for your trainer. This process is all contained within the daily circuits, which picks the workouts for you. During my 30 days of playing, I did exclusively the daily circuit to unlock all the outfits for my girls. The level system goes up to 300, and I got about to level 40 in my days of playing, so you can expect 
a full year's worth of content if looking to complete the entire game. Are you ready? Lower your hips like you're sitting in a chair. Go down. Go. The gameplay and fitness circuit is very simple. You must follow along with the avatar on the top of the screen to complete the exercise at the right time. The controller movement correlates to the meters by the character. You want to hit the entire meter every exercise to get that perfect score. The exercises in the game range from being based on how fast you do the exercises are to like a set number of reps. Honestly, I wish there was an option to have it hard coded as reps and then the game allows you to adjust how many reps you do for each set or round of the game. You cannot change how many of a particular ex exercises you want to do and as far as I could try and look around on the internet, there wasn't a way to swap out an exercise if you didn't like it. I wish there were a little bit more customizability within the circuit training because really all you can do is change out how many rounds you will be doing. You know, for instance, if you have bad knees and you can't really do the whole lunge type thing, then you, you, there's no way you could skip it. You just have to do the lunges or, you know, maybe I was thinking maybe there should be like an option that says bad knees. Turn off all like the bending motions. Just a thought to make it more accessible. That brings me to my big issue with this game though, the controls. For some exercises, such as the step and touch, I have a problem with the game registering my movements. If I would do it correctly, but the game would not register correctly. Like I would be, this is gonna break the green screen, but I'm gonna be like, whew, whew, step and touch. Doing it like this, I'm breaking everything. <laughs> but I would be doing that and the game would not be registering it. I am thinking that I am, you know, a rather big guy with pretty long arms and the game just didn't calculate the parameters for someone like me. Us taller people do have some problems we have to struggle with. I know, cry for us. The issue was extrapolated to other exercises where it was expected to read like full arm movements. Like for instance, like the expanding arm movement, I can't do it again without breaking the screen, but I wouldn't be able to do it all just cause you know, it would also take forever for me to do it versus the game which expected it to go faster. So I, the game did work really well with pulse movements. So I think that it might be an issue of expecting to read shorter movements. Another wish I have for the circuit, fitness circuit too, is a story mode. I love the virtualized world they created with these cool characters and very pretty backgrounds. It would be so much better if there was like some side of plot or something with these guys. Maybe if think about it like this, it's like a group of friends who skip gym class and you know, they're just lazy and they get trapped inside of a computer. Now, the computer must train them on the importance of physical education. I don't know, it's something dumb that I came up quickly within like four seconds, but I can see that being something that's like an excellent inclusion. I can already see like an anime plot being based on this that just comes together. I absolutely adore the style and the music of the game. I just want more story, more theming, more characters, just more. I just want more with this game. I played Fitness Circuit for 30 days based on my usual schedule of having Sundays off, meaning I played this game for a total of 26 days. Here is my Excel table, table of my playing over these days. Using this data, we can get some interesting information. I'm Naomi. Nice to meet you. For context, I am a 293 pound man, man age 29, and who is about 6'2", while I was doing this video. Over the 30 days, I burned 4,090 calories. 
26 workouts during that time gives me an average calorie per workout of 176. The total time I was playing this game was 7 hours and 45 minutes. That gives me an average workout time of 17 minutes and 54 seconds. Distilled down, we get an average burn rate of 10 calories per minute. That is much higher than I expected, although with this app, I didn't really do any sort of cool down, even though that is a thing in the game, and I didn't really do that much of a break since there was a real what a break. There was just a minute break and you can skip it, which I did usually. So there was like no time wasted burning these calories. Overall, I would highly recommend purchasing Fitness Circuit for your workout needs. While playing, I wasn't even close to unlocking all the workouts or with outfits, so you get your money's worth by buying this game and playing it. The game is on sale for only 50 bucks. As usual with these types of games though, they do come on regularly for like half off, so I would wait for like a sale and pick this puppy up for $25. You can definitely get your money's worth by playing this game. The only thought that had crossed my mind while playing this was, I want more. Hopefully the developers will answer my wishes with a Fitness Circuit 2 on the Nintendo Switch 2 whenever that thing like comes out. I'm still hoping and praying for a Nintendo Switch 2. Come on guys, there's so much more potential. You just need improved graphics, better controller. Um, maybe, a, maybe a camera up front would help. You know, maybe you can make some like fun games with the camera. I just want a Nintendo Switch 2. I want more. That's my entire life story. I want more. As you lift your arms, work your shoulder muscles. Go up. Raise, good. So guys, that's it for today's video of the fitness circuit. If you like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel as I put out a brand new video almost every single week. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers within the next year. If you guys have any challenges or video content you guys wanna see from me, then please leave them in the comments below. I will do pretty much anything within the realms of self-improvement, which includes you know, trying to lose weight, um, learning new skills, learning an instrument, and so much more. Visit my website at jack-jenkins.com. Follow me on X and Instagram at truejackjank. Lastly, I want all you guys watching to have a fantastic day. All you guys are just so incredible, and I know what you're thinking. Jack, how can we improve? Well, we can improve together. Finish.